Welcome to our exploration of the sociological perspective in understanding the self. In this video, we'll delve into the concept of socialization, George Herbert Mead's theory of socialization, the development of the self, and the important agents of socialization. Let's get started. Socialization Socialization is the interactive process through which people learn the basic skills, values, beliefs, and behavior patterns of a society. It is the means by which individuals become aware of their identity within a larger social context. Development of Self Within the process of socialization, individuals develop a sense of self, which is a conscious awareness of possessing a distinct identity that separates them from other members of society. George Herbert Mead's Theory of Socialization George Herbert Mead's work focuses on how the self is developed. He emphasizes that the self is not present from birth but is developed over time through social experiences and activities. The Role of Language One key element in the development of self is language. Language allows individuals to respond to each other using symbols, gestures, words, and sounds, facilitating communication and self-awareness. The Role of Play Play is another crucial aspect of self-development. It enables individuals to take on different roles, pretend, and express expectations of others. Play nurtures self-consciousness through role-playing. The Role of Game Games play a vital role in understanding and adhering to rules. Mead suggests that the self is developed by understanding that there are rules one must abide by in order to succeed or win the game. Role-taking Mead introduced the concept of role-taking, where individuals not only see themselves as others see them but also take on the roles of others. It's a socialization process that enables people to anticipate what others expect of them. Three Stages of Role-Taking Mead identified three stages of role-taking. In the first stage, from one month to three years, children lack a sense of self and can only imitate the actions of others. In the second stage, from three to five years, children learn to play and act out roles. In the third stage, after five years, Children can play games with specific rules and anticipate the actions of others. Two sides of self, me and I. Me distinguish between two aspects of the self, me and I. The me represents the socialized aspect, comprising learned behaviors, attitudes, and expectations. The I represents the present and future phases of the self, shaped by responses to the me. Mead's generalized other. Mead introduced the concept of the generalized other. Initially, individuals individualize significant others like parents and siblings. As they grow older, they internalize attitudes, expectations, and viewpoints of society at large, creating the concept of the generalized other. Agents of socialization. Finally, let's explore the key agents of socialization. Family. The family is often the first and most influential agent of socialization, shaping a person's early experiences and values. Peers Peers play a significant role during adolescence, as individuals begin to establish their identities outside of the family. School Educational institutions reinforce social norms and values, preparing individuals for adult. Mass media Television Internet and other forms of media expose individuals to a wide range of social influences. Workplace The workplace introduces individuals to organizational cultures and societal expectations. Religion Religious institutions provide a moral framework and shape values and beliefs. Conclusion in conclusion, the sociological perspective emphasizes that the self is not a static entity but is developed through social interactions and experiences. Understanding the self in the context of society is essential for comprehending how individuals function within their communities. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the sociological perspective in understanding the self.